Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. We were real comfortable and relaxed there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can't move. Oh, did you say speed? Um, I, as much as I uh, always loved your big tough guy roles, you've all, you're always the ultimate tough guy role. That's why, I mean, I really liked Avenger when they sent it to me and I watched it because, you Thank know, you. no nonsense, don't take any crap from anybody type of Thank guy. You. It really amused me to hear you sing in this film. And I was wondering, was this the first on screen song yes. for you? Was it, I mean, is that, was that a little odd? I mean, somebody asked. Did, it was totally odd. You know, I mean, it was totally odd. It was, you know, I mean, it's daunting to have an opportunity. You know, it was great to have the opportunity to sing. Yeah. I love that. But to do a Tom Petty song. Yeah. That had been covered by Johnny Cash. Right. In a year that Joaquin Phoenix, you know, gave that brilliant performance he gave. And, yeah. you know, in a time when Cash's career, except for the fact that he's not with us anymore, is as hot as it's been in a long time. Yeah. You know, it's like, mm, not to mention you're a cow. It was great for him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's maybe the saving grace. It, it yeah. would have been a lot worse had it been me. No, exactly, you know, yeah. You know I, I was wondering if they're going to put out like a little soundtrack or a little music video for yeah, that. I think there's there's there is a soundtrack for the oh, for right. this thing. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that's on there because that's I think that'd be a great yeah. little great little thing to have there. Yeah. I, I guess you, and the other thing too, another passion of mine, uh, which you fit perfectly in, and I guess sort of ties in the movie. I try to keep it close is westerns. Right. Because uh, in, in some way, I guess you can consider this a western. But why don't why as, as I'm so passionate about it, it's like why don't we have more westerns? Yeah, man. I wish you, I wish you were around to ask that question. And a lot of people I'd like to ask that question to in town. I don't I don't really have an answer for it. You know, because I've got a lot of simpatico for that genre, and it's mm -hmm. uh, it's viable. Yeah. It's real viable because I know that that audience is out there. I know people b need to be on horses. You need to be on a horse in your role. Yeah. You need to be out there, you know, saving the, whatever the West or yeah. avenging people. And, and it just it just seems to me that there's even though that it's been done so much in the it, it, it this is a whole new things can be done differently now. There's, man, there's new generations of yeah. kids that don't even know what a guy on a horse looks like. And you don't have I mean, any. I mean, kind look what look what this thing, the Broken Trail, that was on yeah. E recently. Which are great. Look at the greatest. Radians ever, yeah. Critically received as well as it could have possibly been. I think I. I to be did you, did you meet you, Olivia? That was. Did you talk to her, the woman that two before she was in that? Did you know that? No. Yes, yeah, she was the girl in Broken Trail. She was the uh, with Robert Duvall in the movie. Yes, yeah, that's how she got this gig. What doing a trip. thing, and I was like, "That's a great thing." But can't aren't there? I wish there... I'd have known that because I had this sensation that I knew this woman from yeah. somewhere. Yeah, she was the main lady. I know that there. I hadn't been Dude, interviewed. Is, with her. Aren't there enough of you, or Robert Duvall, people like you that can't get together and maybe get something done? Yeah, or? but it's not about us. Really? It's not about us. I mean, once in a while we can get one made. It's like Duval got that one made. Yeah. But it's about Hollywood being open to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think Hollywood kind of looks down their nose at that genre. In I don't know, but you know, you know it's a great I mean? company like TNT that really put out. Some TNT doesn't want to make any westerns. Oh, today. that's a, that's insane. And they don't want to make any movies today. They're in the television series business right yeah. now. So they're, and they're doing well yeah. at it. You know, yeah. the Closer is a very successful yeah, it's, show. Yeah, it's a very good but show too. They're not interested yeah. in making any westerns. Right what? Now. Uh, so is it, have you done? Uh, excuse me, I don't know if you've done first it? animated first animated film. Yeah. So yeah. is, is that uh, just something, what you, I mean, what drew you to that? I mean, uh, just, Steve Odekirk is what drew me to this thing. Yeah, he's kind of a he's little brilliant, twisted man. mind. I, yeah. uh, he's twisted in the right way. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, Sam, I have to be honest with you, because I didn't know, I knew nothing about this film going into it. And I'm uh, my honest opinion was, oh, an animated film, right. I'm an adult, sure. I'll get through sure. this. Sure. And is just an amazing it's film. It's a great ride, man. Yeah, it just yeah. really takes you. I mean, it could. I honestly think it was written more for adults than it might have been for kids. Maybe. Right? I think, you know, Steve, I think, as he says, it wrote it for his kids. Okay. You know, but he covered the bases. Yeah. You know, and it, it's a big deal to, to involve the whole family successfully. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to go to these things and take your kid, and I've been there. I took my kid to a lot of those animated yeah, movies. Yeah, you're like, ah, oh, what am I doing here? Man. Right? You can only eat so much popcorn, you know? Yeah. But this thing is, it's good family fare. It really is. It's a Thank pleasure you. to meet you. Thank My you pleasure. so much.